Alright, so yeah. So I didn't say so, so so listen, all I said was I was like, hey my guy. Like you know, like you sound funny or whatever, like you or and shit like that, you know what I mean? I was trying to help him not to become a loser, to become great. So so where's your clip? Uh where's your clip at? I didn't hear nothing. Then oh, what but I thought you you said it to me? What are you sending it to? What do you mean, bro? What? Mm. Oh, you got... How many... How many viewers do you have right now? Wow, bro, you need to start, you know, getting a life, you know, taking care of yourself better and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's very... Uh, it's not about money, man, it's about... There's no price, there's no price for your health, man. I'm telling you right now, bro. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta do some push-ups and shit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do some squats and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, the rifting workout, it actually involves 100 push-ups and 100 squats and 100 sit-ups and shit. I can show you if you want sometime. And we can work out together, I can help you become stronger. You can pay me, I can be your personal trainer. Huh? I'm streaming right now. <laughs> but anyways, all I'm anyways, all I'm saying you guys is you need to be out there taking care of yourself and washing your hands and shit, you know what I'm saying? These people out there are touching their controllers, being all dirty, all nasty and things, then they touch their face or their eyes and they're walking around with pink eye. Or like this girl over here, she brushes her teeth, I know, she you know she got the right idea, but she doesn't floss. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, it's just facts. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what you mean? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I remember that. I remember that. I do remember that. I get around, you know. They know me as the White Knight. I'm a real adventurer. I'm not a fool like these people out here. They carry shields, they carry swords, and they're out there tripping over them. Shit, bro. I don't do it all. I don't do it all. I don't stream all the time, bro. I just do it for fun. I just, I just read lore books and I stream it. That's all I do. I'm the uh, storyteller of Claglorn. People pay me gold or sometimes give me crates, whatever. I don't, I don't ask for it. But I would not say no. But anyways, like I was saying, I wasn't here trying to be rude to anybody. I was just out here minding my own business, trying to tell people how to be a real adventurer. That's all it is. It's nothing fancy. It's just facts. See, most of the people here don't even know what's going on with the bears in the woods. <laughs> but I know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll read you a lore book. Content? What kind of content are you looking for, my young man? Okay, look at this guy right here. Look at this sexy guy right here. You know what this is? This is what I call, ladies and gentlemen, a third-legged pirate. I bet you he got a third leg. That's not a real lady. See, his voice sounds deep. That's how I know that's a man. Why are you dressed as a woman? That's what I want to know. Do you have a... F Maybe you have a fantasy where you want to be a woman, in another words. See, when you look in the mirror... A tranny. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I would enjoy a tranny. Style, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I would like that. What about this uh, people over here? Are these uh, your uh, your pimps or what's going on here? Or your, or your mans? What is this? Look at this guy. Huh? Okay, okay. You're already in it, bruh. 
<laughs> Shit. <laughs> it is what it is. I cannot uh, change the outcomes of the universe. You can you can live stream it. So lower. What nightmares? I cannot close my eyes but see terror in the darkness of dreams. Lurid grotesqueries stalk beyond the rings of my mind's candlelight. Striking when I cannot keep among the waking any longer. I have tried all methods for calming my thoughts. Meditation, hypnosis, honey, berry tea. But the moment I slip into sleep, I am once more assailed by the terrors that await me there. In a moment of desperation, I turn to my quill. In writing what I see in dream, I hope that I may expel the darkness I see at night. In dream, I sit on gentle shore of our chaos, where waves from the endless ether lap and sand. The sun sits low and red in the sky, almost mocking me with tranquility. Then, from the sea, erupts a creature, gigantic, corrupted, with parasites and spawns from the ocean's recess makes his way to shore, leaving a foam of crimson in his wake. All the water around it turns black, all the fish die, all the wind and roar is quieted. Its five heads rake and bite one another, crying with their dissonant voices. And despite the perverse nodding and rhythm of his heads, the creature still plods forward, so in destruction as he does. One of the heads is little more than rotting flesh and bone, and even as he roars, I see the bottom feeders of the ocean depths feasting on his putrid flesh. With this very roar, the dead tremble and dance, puppets on strings before his unholy power. A second head bore postures and pox scars, bulbous blisters of fluid that glowed in crimson and sheen. These would burst, oozing their contents into one another. And these horrible concoctions would hiss and sputter, burn and smoke. The others would lap this foul fluid with glee and dismay. A third head was black as night with the stars, as onyx in a windowless room, and darker still were its eyes. Fall in the shadows, made lone by the sun, into a shroud of pure darkness. The fourth head was obscured to me. I could not discern these features. But the last, the fifth head, so terrible it was to behold. For it was several times the size of the others. By screeching, only would the others tremble and quell their frightening. This massive head was little more than a ring of teeth. <laughs> 
seated upon which was a terrible brain, a loathsome mortal thing, its wrinkles and folds adulating in a sinister, enasuating series of pulses. Strands of ichor and vile seeped from its fleshy recess, as barnacles and polyps fixed to the surface seemed to gasp for want of air. Then the creature's heads turned their attention to me. I was frozen, am frozen, and will always be frozen by the eyes raking over me. And worse still is the song they sang in unison, ruinous cacophony. Kitor a engarza, becor hen semoha, ulvorcus waits. Ulvorcus wakes, itor a engarza pecorhensima ha. And at the apex of this terrible verse, as the sun gave way to terrible night, I will see the outline on a distant horizon, a mountain forming from the sea and falling into the water. From this peak or more creatures. Too many to count and too horrible to name. They're coming. They're coming for us. And when the sun goes down completely, I wake up screaming. The white night from the rift reads, he is so lower. The end. Alright, bro. <laughs> that's it. That's my, uh, that, that's my, uh, my character, the white knight, the storyteller. Of the Rift and Claglore. Also, Glenumbra is where I used to practice reading my lore books. So I do stream my shit, but. Oh, really? I got another book if you wanna hear. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Let me find my other book here. Should be a good one. Here. Is so lower. The white knight will read Apocrypha Apocrypha. The infinite archives or Hermia's Mora are the ultimate treasure. Its innumerable shelves and countless books carry the weight of all knowledge. Therein, the vigilant reader can find all that was and all that is and all that will be. Followers of the divines content in their dark cloisters of ignorance preach hatred of the golden eye. Daedra, they call him, unclean, monstrous, and wicked. We have seen the truth. Knowledge is only as wicked as the one who wields it. Forsaking learning in the fear of his misuse is the ultimate sin. It is an unforgivable folly. As a result, mortals have suffered countless centuries of loss. In Apocrypha, the golden eye weeps cold tears at this plague of ignorance. Those who walk his halls are truly blessed, even as their flesh falls away. They are permitted to browse the infinite tomes and scrolls, privy to all mysteries that have and ever will exist. It is the most blessed of fates. We give you praise, Hermias Mora. We seek enlightenment, illumination in a place at your side. The white knight from the rift reads Apocrypha. Apocrypha he is so lower. The end.
request. Uh, I've never done them before, but what do, I don't even know if I have the book. I only read the books that I have. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that'll be under literature. What I do have for last year Argonian is uh, I got volume one and two. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Is somebody gonna play the lady and I'll play the man, or am I doing both? I know I don't actually do voices. I'm not good at doing lady voices. <laughs> I haven't practiced those yet. <laughs> I usually get a girl to do it in town. But right now there isn't any girls. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. Do it. Do it. It's the Lusty Argonian Volume 1 will be the script. Yeah. Yeah, literature. Oh, my viewer is on. I got, I got one viewer. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even know what that means. But if... Sure. If that'll help. I don't... What do I do? Oh, okay. I just do it for fun. You gotta go to, uh, what do you call it, uh, lore library, lore library, journal, journal, yeah, and then go down to literature. Volume one, yeah. Be Act Four, Scene Three continued. You'll be going first as uh, lifts her tail. You have a phone, you can Google it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, yep. 
I got one and I got two as well. Uh, yep, yep. You are Lifts Her Tail, the Lady Argonian. Is it all you have come here for, little one? My chambers? So you are, my dumpling, and a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. Fear not, you are safe here with me. Cleaning, eh? I have something for you. Here, polish my spear. <laughs> plenty of time, my sweet, plenty of time. The end. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, bro. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the only, uh, the only other time that we've done this is in Oradam when I've done it once or twice. This is like the third time we've done this. We also have volume two, if you have it. Oh man, this is a really good one. Yeah, this is funny. This loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It hasn't risen yet. Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid, you must use your hands. Of course. Okay, I can't show <laughs> Send me your money, bro. It sent me that dough. It says, <laughs> it says, How much you got? I think uh, the viewers are waiting for us to finish our story. <laughs> we must take it from the beginning again, I guess. No interruptions, please. This loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. He has yet to rise. Oh, 
Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid, you must use your hands. Of course. Don't fret, my delicate flower. I will satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Plenty of time, my sweet. <laughs> Plenty of time. Alright, sweet. What? <laughs> I do gotta go soon, but uh, it has been fun. Well, if it isn't Christine, how are you doing today, Christine? <laughs> I got me muted. No, Christine, I don't know. I usually mess with people around here. Like, this is like my hometown and shit. Like, this is where my character was born. Oh, nice, nice. How's it what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's right, that's right. <laughs> What is it, uh, Cosmic Care? Yeah, what is your Twitch account name, anyways? Like, ready for what? What are you guys doing? Oh. S H R O U D. 